We're halfway through the 2022 season and Kyle Busch still doesn't have a deal done for the 2023 season. But JGR team president Dave Alpern says he's hoping a deal gets done in the near future. How's it going, y'all? My name is Eric. Welcome to Out of the Groove. We're back in Nashville, Tennessee. The SRX race at the fairgrounds is tomorrow night. That's why I'm wearing the Matt Kenseth shirt. That's why I'm here in the great state of Tennessee. Shout out again to my friend Danny B. Talks for letting me borrow a corner of his epic NASCAR fan cave to film. We've got a couple things to talk about today. If you saw yesterday, I know I put something out that's a little different. I haven't done like a pure comedy skit type video in, I don't know, a few years, it feels like. Made some jokes at the expense of NASCAR, at the expense of Kyle Busch, at the expense of myself trying to squeeze into that costume that I got when I was like 13 years old. Today's video is Kyle Busch focused as well, but we're getting serious now. It's July and Kyle Busch still does not have a contract for next season. Joe Gibbs Racing Team President Dave Alpern hosted a press conference yesterday. And of course, he was asked a number of questions about Kyle Busch's future, where things stand there. He was also asked about Ty Gibbs's future. What's the plan for the young 19-year-old star? We're going to react to some of his quotes here today. Let's begin with the Kyle Busch stuff. Last time we visited this topic, Kyle Busch was voicing some frustration publicly, lamenting the fact that a deal had yet to be signed. But Joe Gibbs and Joe Gibbs Racing sounded cautious optimistic that a deal would get done. And there was a report from Bob Pockers that JGR had been close to finalizing a deal with a major technology company. This was a couple months ago, so not sure if those talks have stalled out completely or maybe Gibbs is looking elsewhere now. I don't know, but that's where things stand based on the last time we really visited this topic. This week, JGR President Dave Alpern had this to say when addressing Kyle Busch's contract situation. He said, quote, we've been pretty consistent since the end of last season, which is we want Kyle to be in the 18 car and that's our plan. We're still working on sponsorship and as much interest as there is in our sport, these take a long time. And admittedly, this one's taking a little longer than we thought. It's not for lack of interest. It's just trying to get everything put together. So those will probably happen in parallel. And again, we're hoping to get something decided here in the very near future. A hint of optimism there at the very end, very near future. Of course, that could mean days, weeks, months, <laughs> hopefully in time for next season. Alpern also said, quote, I think it's not a matter of just slapping something on the car. It's finding a partnership that makes sense. And so we're just trying to find the right fit. It all comes down to sponsorship. We've known this for months. If they're able to land a major sponsor to replace Mars slash M&Ms, Kyle Busch will be in the 18 car next year, no, no issue. But finding a sponsor for Kyle Busch is hard. And you may think, why? He's one of the biggest names in the sport, one of the most talented, one of the most accomplished drivers in the series. Why is finding a sponsor for Kyle Busch hard? It's hard because Kyle Busch and Joe Gibbs Racing, for that matter, have high standards. And I would argue deserve to have high standards. JGR is a premier organization in NASCAR. And Kyle Busch, I mean, he's the only active driver with more than one championship to his credit. Busch is used to being one of the highest paid drivers in the sport, so he'd like to continue that. And he also has a very definitive personality and brand. So any new sponsor that comes in would have to gel nicely with Kyle Busch's existing brand image. So Busch and JGR have high standards, and I think you can argue they deserve to have those high standards. I mean, Kyle Busch is one of only two drivers in the Cup Series today who has their own dedicated merch hauler at the track every week. That's part of it, but what complicates this further is the fact that Kyle Busch, while he's the most decorated active driver in the NASCAR Cup Series, the most accomplished, still arguably one of the most talented, he seems to be declining a little. And it's hard to say how much of this falls on the driver. It may be all on the car, on the team. You know, teams go through periods where they're really good and then they're a little off and, you know, it can last for years at a time. So I'm not saying it's the driver. I think Kyle Busch is still easily one of the top three most talented drivers in the Cup Series today. But when you look at the stats, you look at, you know, 2017 through 2019, three seasons, and you compare that block to 2020 through 2022, present day, the statistical decline is extremely obvious. Between 2017 and 2019, Kyle Busch won 18 races. He made it to the championship for all three years. And of course, he got a championship in 2019. From 2020 to now, two and a half years, Kyle Busch has only four wins, hasn't yet made it to a championship for appearance, and of course, has zero championships as a result. He currently sits sixth in the points this season. Some have argued it's because he split from Adam Stevens, and, and maybe that's part of it. The two 
won two championships together. But, you know, he only split from Adam Stevens after the 2020 season. They did have that whole year together where Bush struggled, blamed the pandemic, blamed the lack of practice, whatever. They did struggle that year by their standards. Kyle Busch hasn't hit 40 yet. He's not old for a race car driver. So why the statistical decline? Is it just a lack of focus? Are the race cars really that far off? Did the pandemic schedule throw him for a loop more than it threw other drivers for a loop? I'm sure it's a little bit of everything, but if you're a sponsor looking to sink millions of dollars potentially into Kyle Busch, you're going to want to know what he's done lately. And lately doesn't look nearly as good as, you know, three, four, five years ago. So again, I think Kyle Busch deserves to have high standards based on all he's accomplished. I think Joe Gibbs Racing is allowed to have high standards. They're still one of the top, I'd say top two, top three for sure organizations in the Cup Series. But the results haven't been that great lately. And if you want to continue being one of or the highest paid drivers in the sport, I think you can start by hopefully turning things around on the racetrack. I still think Kyle Busch gets a deal done with Joe Gibbs Racing. I think they're working hard at it. I think they will find a way to make things happen. Ultimately, both sides want the same thing. They both want to work together again next year. Bush just wants to be paid well. And JGR just needs a big sponsor to come in and foot a lot of that bill. But assuming they can make that work, both sides ultimately want the same thing. So I think Bush will stay in the 18. But as Dave Alpern notes here, you know, it's not a done deal. He said, quote, pro sports, look. Things happen. Carl Edwards retired on the week of Christmas one year. So trying to speculate what's going to happen, things happen. But the plan is we feel confident there will be a good partner on that car for next year. And again, the hope is that Kyle Busch will be in it. So I don't know. Same thing as a couple months ago. JGR sounds cautiously optimistic. Now, for some reason, if Joe Gibbs Racing is not able to find a major sponsor for Kyle Busch, it sounds like Ty Gibbs will get the 18 car next year. But Dave Alpern also noted this week during that press conference that Ty Gibbs going to Cup next year, that is not plan A. He said, quote, we don't want to push him too fast. There are no specific plans beyond this year in reference to a Cup race or whatever. We're just kind of trying to play out the year and see if he can go win or can compete for an Xfinity championship this year. And he's got four wins and he's doing really well. When asked specifically if Gibbs will spend another year in Xfinity past this one, Alpern said, Yes, that would be the plan. That is plan A. A couple of things here. First, I appreciate Joe Gibbs and Joe Gibbs Racing not wanting to rush Ty into the Cup Series. He's only 19 years old right now. He'll be 20 by the time next year starts. I'm sure Joe Gibbs thinks back to you know when Joey Logano was kind of rushed into the Cup Series and struggled his first few years out the gate. JGR does not want to throw Ty Gibbs to those same you know, metaphorical wolves. So I commend them for not wanting to rush Ty Gibbs, and I commend them for you know just focusing on the year at hand. Ty Gibbs is an Xfinity Championship contender. He's had a great season so far, and so let him focus on this year and, and focusing on the playoffs. But behind the scenes, absolutely Joe Gibbs Racing should be looking to get Ty Gibbs in a cup car next year. Maybe not full-time, but part-time, maybe in a 2311 car, JGR should be exploring those opportunities because the next gen right now is so different from the Xfinity car. Every week that Ty Gibbs isn't driving a next gen car, he's falling further and further behind. Look at Cup this year. This is the most equal field I can remember in years. Five drivers are tied with two wins to lead the series. 13 different winners in the first 18 races. Some veterans are struggling uncharacteristically. Meanwhile, some young Younger drivers are having breakout seasons. The expectation around Ty Gibbs is that he will be a Cup Series star one day. He will win a number of races. He will contend for championships on into the future. That is the expectation. It's a very high bar. But since that's the expectation, why not get him some experience ASAP? I'm with JGR, not full time. I know it's tough because you can only run four cars in Cup Series these days. And you know, right now they have a pretty stacked lineup for next year, assuming Kyle Busch comes back. But if they can get a deal done with 2311, maybe someone else, I think Ty Gibbs should absolutely look to make a few Cup Series starts next year. I, I think seat time is valuable above all else. Simulators are great, but they're, they have their limitations. Getting behind the wheel of a real next gen car in competition will teach Ty Gibbs better and faster than anything else. NASCAR has such strict policies around testing that I, I don't see him just being able to go out and make laps, you know, during the offseason. Like, no, he's going to have to learn in NASCAR Cup Series races. I know JGR has a lot going on. Truex just said he's coming back next year. Kyle Busch still needs a contract. They're swapping pit crews between Bell and Bubba Wallace's team. I know there's a lot of distractions. But if I'm Joe Gibbs Racing, I would have some dedicated person or team working on getting Ty Gibbs some Cup Series starts next year.
That's just my take, but I want to hear what you guys think. One, about Kyle Busch's ongoing contract negotiations and situations. Do you think they'll find a big sponsor or not? Share your thoughts down in the comment section below. And regarding Ty Gibbs, would you like to see him make a few Cup Series starts next year? Do you think he's ready to go full-time if Kyle Busch doesn't get a deal done? Share your thoughts down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We talk NASCAR almost every single day here on Out of the Groove. And as always, a big thank you to my Patreon supporters. I truly appreciate your very generous support each and every month.